clean eating. Well, that's kind of a buzzword these days. You see it everywhere you go. You hear about it every time you turn on the radio or a podcast. So in this video today, I am going to tell you what a clean eating diet actually is, uh, why you might want to consider doing it and how to do it successfully. And for those of you interested at the end of the video, I will also tell you why I personally have chosen to switch to a clean eating diet and I'll let you know if I think it's doing what it's supposed to do. And I also have a free PDF download that can help you on your journey. So please stay tuned for that. Welcome to the Spicy Apron Cooking Show. My name is Heather and I am here to show you the easiest ways to get the best results in your kitchen on your clean eating journey. And obviously, I am not in my kitchen today. That is because today I really want to focus on the what, the why, and the how to help you achieve your version of a clean eating diet. So if you are interested in more information about that, as well as a bunch of awesome recipes, please go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell because that way you'll be notified every time I come out with a new video every week. Now, the number one thing that I hope that you come away from this video with today, and that is the knowledge that a clean eating diet isn't actually a diet. It really is more like a way of life and a lifestyle. And what it looks like can be different for everybody. There is a lot of flexibility in a clean eating diet. But in general, a clean eating diet is when you consume whole natural foods that are closest to how they come in their natural state. But you also eliminate, or at least mostly eliminate, a lot of packaged and processed foods. So, so that is the sort of overview of what a clean eating diet is. Now that can also get subdivided into a number of categories and whatever your category is, is what's right for you. In general, this way of eating will include lots of fresh fruits and vegetables, as well as healthy fats, uh, nuts, avocados, also some fatty fish like tuna and salmon, uh, some lean meats like chicken. So it can include all of these things. But there are also subcategories, and depending on what your purpose is, uh, you can follow any one of the subcategories. A lot of people who embark on a clean eating journey also end up becoming vegetarians, sometimes vegans, sometimes it's dairy-free, often it's gluten-free. So there are all different kinds of types of a clean eating diet. So that is the most important piece to this puzzle is that there's actually a lot of flexibility with it and you need to do what is right for you depending on what your goals are. And no matter which subcategory of clean eating you wanna follow, in fact, put a comment below of what type of clean eating you wanna do. Is it the general big picture one? Is it more specific? dairy-free, uh, vegan, vegetarian, and I can actually use that as a guide to uh, sort of determine what types of recipes you would like to see on my channel. And don't forget to subscribe so you will get notified when those videos come out. It is also important to point out, you are never too old or too young to start a clean eating diet. It can be good for you no matter what your age is. So wherever you fall on that scale, a clean eating diet really is good for everyone. Now, the next question is why? Why would you go to all of the effort it takes to follow a clean eating diet? And by the way, it's actually not quite as hard as a lot of people think, but we will get to that later in the video. Now, first I would like to say I am not a physician. Let's make that clear. Uh, so I am not here to give medical advice. I am a lawyer and one thing I'm really, really good at is research. So everything that I'm telling you in this video is based on my own personal research. If you do have a medical condition, I highly recommend you speak to your physician about any kind of diet change that you would like to do. I did that with my own physician. So why do it? Well, the evidence is mounting and mounting and mounting that the food that you consume really actually does affect 
the overall health of your body. And that sounds pretty obvious, right? Because everybody knows, well, shoot, if you consume Big Macs all day long and nothing but French fries, okay, you're probably gonna be pretty unhealthy and maybe a little bit overweight. But what I'm talking about goes a bit beyond that. I am talking on a molecular level, what the nutrients in fresh whole foods can do for your body on a cellular level. Now, I'm not gonna go into all of that detail, but I will highly recommend to you a book that I am currently reading. It is called How Not to Die. Um, I will put a link to that below. And it goes into all kinds of details and cites all kinds of studies to support it. So I really do recommend uh, that book to you. I certainly could never do it justice. But the upshot of not only what that book conveys, but that what so many of these studies that are rolling out also prove is that a clean eating diet, meaning that you are incorporating all of the healthy whole foods that I am talking about, but also eliminating the other types of foods that can cause harm, uh, like the fast food. And by the way, I have to say, I am a huge fast food fan. I know I probably shouldn't even admit that. Um, I swear, my car probably has some sort of auto turn every time I pass Taco Bell, right? I go and also my car feels like it's turning because, Damn, I love my Taco Bell. So that's actually been um, kind of hard to give up. Of every, every piece of this clean eating diet, giving up Taco Bell uh, has maybe been the most challenging. Okay, so that aside, when you incorporate all of these foods that do great things for your body and you eliminate the ones that are doing harm to your body, that is the sweet spot. Now, what does it do for you? Well, like I said, these studies are showing now it can help everything from heart disease, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, uh, lung disease is even in there. It also can help with arthritis. It can help with diabetes, um, gut issues, um, IBS, IBD. The foods that you consume absolutely can negatively or positively affect all of those conditions. If you have inflammatory diseases, altering your food to eat foods that are known to reduce inflammation and eliminate those that increase inflammation can make you feel loads better. So what do these studies also show? They show it can help with your sleep. It can certainly help with your weight. Uh, if you are already consuming a lot of junk food and now you switch to clean eating, uh, you likely will lose weight. But again, I do wanna reiterate this clean eating lifestyle, it really isn't about losing weight. Now, if you're overweight and you switch to clean eating, you probably will lose some weight. It is really about sustaining your body's overall health. So if you have some sort of ailment that is causing you to maybe wanna to switch to this diet, and I will get to my own personal reasons in a minute, and yes, it does involve that, um, I highly recommend you stay tuned to my next section, which is how to do it and do it successfully. All right, how do you do a clean eating diet successfully? Well, if you're anything like I am, every time you open your Facebook or Pinterest or anything like that, you open it and you see all kinds of pictures of these people with perfectly stocked refrigerators, everything's lined up and cut and pre-prepared, and they've got fruit bowls and everything all around the house, and it looks like perfection. Let me just point out that perfection is the enemy to progress. And that is just the truth. It's so easy to get caught up in everybody else's pictures in life and how wonderful it is, and then be intimidated or scared, or I can't do it that way, therefore I'm not gonna do it at all. Throw all that stuff out the window. You just have to start. And you don't need to be perfect. In fact, I often refer to my channel as the kinda clean eating channel, because I'm not perfect. Although I haven't done the Taco Bell thing, um, I guarantee I will at some point. So give yourself some latitude, give yourself some flexibility, give yourself some freedom to make mistakes. You don't need to be perfect, especially if you want this lifestyle to be sustainable. Otherwise, it's just too much pressure and it is too stressful. So it is okay to not be perfect. Now that we got that out of the way, let's move on to some tips on how to actually start eating a clean eating diet. And my very first recommendation to you would be get rid of the junk food that is in your house. Um, it can be packaged cereals, it can be chips, it can be ice cream, anything that is heavily processed, just throw it out 
or donate it. If it's complete whole boxes, donate it to someone. But the best thing you could do is get rid of all of that. Now, of course, you need to replenish your pantry and your refrigerator. Start with the fresh stuff. Stock your refrigerator with things that, number one, will last a while because, honestly, if you don't eat it in two days and it goes bad, uh, you're going to get frustrated with throwing stuff out. So start with stocking with things like celery and carrots and cucumbers and tomatoes and fill your refrigerator with all of these items that will be great and you can eat them in breakfast and lunch and dinner and there's a lot of flexibility with those items in your refrigerator. Also, if you are going the non-dairy route, make sure to stock up with some nut milk. I prefer unsweetened almond milk because I use it in a lot of recipes and a ton of smoothies. I do a ton of smoothies, by the way. You will be seeing loads of smoothie recipes coming out in the spring. So once you've got that fridge stocked up, move to your pantry and stock up on things, again, that are gonna be easy to use in all kinds of recipes. So things like canned beans, canned tunas. And speaking of beans, I actually am a huge advocate of, of making them from dry in my Instant Pot. I will put a link up to one of my beans in the Instant Pot videos up here. It's very, very popular probably because it's so easy, but you can do canned beans. Uh, you can also have canned tuna, uh, some canned chicken, if you're gonna have chicken in your diet, um, anything canned that's high in protein and that will be easy to grab and easy to use, uh, stock your pantry full of that. Also in your pantry, the spices. Now this is a really, really important aspect of having a successful clean eating diet plan. So when you're stocking your pantry full of the herbs and spices, you're gonna need definitely start with uh, the things that are known to have good healthy effects uh, and also are going to give you a lot of taste. And I'm talking things like turmeric for sure, one of the best. Uh, cinnamon's a great one. Ginger is fantastic. I actually have powdered ginger and I also have loads of fresh ginger all the time in my kitchen. I chop it up. I put it in absolutely everything. You're also going to want to get some basil, some oregano, some Italian seasonings, just again to make sure the basics are covered. Don't forget something to add a little bit of heat to your dishes like some cayenne uh, and also some crushed red pepper. So those ought to get you started in the right direction. Now, a lot of people ask if I'm switching to a clean eating diet, what types of kitchen gadgets can I get to make it a little bit easier? Um, first of all, you don't really need any extra special gadgets. However, I do have a couple that really do save me a ton of time. Uh, okay, three things I'll say. One, garlic press. Um, I use a lot of garlic now. It's great for you and it also adds lots of flavor. So I definitely love my little cheap garlic press. I'll put a link to all of these things below. Um, the next thing that I actually do use all the time is my Cooking Pal Molto. Um, I did this video here giving you a summary of what it is, so I'm not going to go into the details here, but it is everything from a food processor to a blender. It also cooks foods. Uh, it makes these fabulous soups. It comes with fantastic recipes that you can sort on the app by whatever type of diet you're following, so I highly recommend that. And the other thing that I use a lot is my air fryer because it is a great way to get super crunchy, crispy, really healthy things that you're gonna love to eat. I do sweet potato fries in it all the time. Um, I also have a recipe out there on my YouTube channel, you can search for it, of my air fryer tilapia. That is delicious and it's really, really good for you. So those are the three things. If you're going to look for a gadget, I would definitely look at those three things to start with, but again, totally not necessary at all. Now, the last tip that I would like to give you on how to get started and how to be successful is to at least do some meal prep. Now, you don't need to go crazy again like those Instagram posts and the Facebook groups where everything's prepped for the entire week. That would be lovely, um, but it's not very realistic for a lot of people. So, Start with really simple things. For example, the celery and carrots I told you to buy because they will last a long time in your fridge. Go ahead and chop them up to you know bite-sized stalks. Uh, put them in a little Ziploc bag or a reusable container uh, full of water and then they'll be right there. It's crispy, it's crunchy, it's cold, it's easy to grab and easy to eat. 
The other thing to try to do is, let's say you're making a soup or a casserole, make it big enough so you will have some leftovers. You can then use those leftovers and eat them for your lunches. Um, I do find, at least for me, the clean eating lunches are kind of the hardest because we're so used to convenience. And if you don't have some of these leftovers, it might be a little bit challenging. Uh, but speaking of convenience, one of the things that I do still do, and I really like, I do like frozen pizza. So I buy the cauliflower frozen pizza crust, and then I use some of those fresh ingredients that are already in my fridge or on my countertop, like onions and peppers uh, and mushrooms. And I just sprinkle them on the cauliflower crust and pop them in my oven and then it's ready in like 12 minutes. So I highly recommend that as well because you will want some easy go-to items. So a little bit of meal prep will help you stay on your clean eating journey. And speaking of that, I am now going to tell you my own personal journey uh, and how I actually do stay motivated to stay on it. Now I've always followed a relatively healthy diet my entire life. Okay, I, I definitely do the fast food thing, but generally I do follow a very healthy diet and I always have, and I've always been an exerciser. And frankly, I've had really good health my entire life up until a couple of years ago where I started getting really, really severe abdominal pain. Uh, didn't know why. I, I'm not one to go to doctors. I never have, uh, unless I was having babies, which I had a lot of those. Uh, but other than that, I really never even went to doctors. So finally the pain was so severe, like literally would drop me on my knees and I'd have to curl up in a ball painful many, many, many times throughout the day. Uh, I sought out the help of several physicians. I, and frankly, they all kind of told me it was in my head, which if you know me at all, that was not very likely. Uh, it took, I think, six doctors. I finally found a really great GI, and he ultimately diagnosed me with very severe Crohn's disease. He said it was one of the most severe cases he has seen. I won't go into the details of what it is, but it affects your entire digestive tract from where your food goes in to where it comes out, and mine was pretty much shot. Now, thankfully, he knew to immediately get me on some very, very powerful medications. Um, and within a month, it, it was the first time I had no pain um, in about two and a half years. So I was so thankful to get those medications. Um, the problem is one of the medications I'm on is a biologic, and without going into too much detail, um, they actually kind of quit working over time. They have worked beautifully for me for a very long time, two years, but they're at the point where it's probably going to not work. I'm also on a chemotherapy drug, which I don't love because it's pretty toxic to my body, um, but that's by design. It's doing what it's supposed to do. And right after I was diagnosed with Crohn's disease, I then was also diagnosed with an invasive malignant melanoma on my nose. Um, I've talked about it in previous videos. It was pretty extensive. I had to have seven surgeries to remove the cancer and also rebuild my face. <laughs> and Thank you again to my fabulous team of physicians, including, of course, my plastic surgeon who has the patience of a saint because he's had to deal with me for the last 18 months, uh, but who also had the vision, the talent, uh, the genius to put it all back together. It included everything from my ear to my forehead to my scalp to my groin. Uh, he kind of took every part of me and made my face. So. Thank you for that. I feel very, very fortunate for my entire medical team that I have had. But I have decided with the risks of my one drug not working and the side effects of the other, now that I am in remission, control my entire uh, GI system with my diet. There is a lot of evidence out there to support it. Uh, it's not medically proven. I'm well aware of that. Again, I do recommend you talk to your own doctor. I did talk to my own doctor about this. So that is why I am on this diet. I have now been on the diet and off my medicines for six weeks. And everything not only is great, it's honestly better than I have been since probably in my 30s. So so far so good, I am sticking with it and I am highly motivated and that's the very last piece of helpful information I can give you is find out for yourself, why do you want to do this diet? What is your motivation? It will be different for absolutely everyone. So find your own 
Why? Why do you want to do this diet? Because it does take a commitment and it does take discipline. Uh, here's my why. I want to go sail around the world. I know you guys are going to think I'm crazy, but that is my goal. And in fact, we have a deposit on a boat. It's being built, so it's several years away. But it's not going to be super easy to sail around the world to these remote places if I have to take with me difficult to find and very expensive medications that also require refrigeration. So I'm trying to see if this whole system is going to work for me before I jump on a sailboat and sail off uh, into the middle of the South Pacific. Um, so that is my motivation. It's very strong to my core. It keeps me razor focused. And yes, it keeps my car from turning into Taco Bell. So that is my story. Uh, please comment below with your own story. What type of clean eating diet would you like to follow? Um, and if you have any tips for me, I'd love to hear them. Thank you for watching this Spicy Apron cooking show. Happy cooking, happy eating, and let's go down this journey together.